Hello, and welcome to Happier, a podcast where we talk about ideas, insights, hacks, and solutions for how to make our lives happier, healthier, more productive, and more creative. This week, we'll talk about why it's useful to review our 22 for 22 list, and we will review our list and reveal how we've done. And we will also talk about what we learned from the Rest 22 in 22 challenge. I'm Gretchen Rubin, a writer who studies happiness, good habits, and the five senses and human nature. I am in my little home office here in New York City, and joining me today from L.A. is my sister, Elizabeth Kraft. And Elizabeth, you have COVID. You made it so long. That's me, Elizabeth Kraft, a TV writer and producer living in L.A. And yes, Jack and Adam and I all have COVID, uh, varying symptoms and degrees. I think I have a pretty mild case, um, although you can probably hear it in my voice. And I, I think for anyone on YouTube, I might look a bit pale today. Mm. But, you know, I'm just so glad we're all vaccinated because yeah. we've got it, but we're managing and much better to get it vaccinated than when you're not vaccinated. No, absolutely. Oh, my gosh. Well, hang yes. in there. Thank you. Yes, I'll keep you posted. Um, I thought we could escape, but it, it got us. Yeah, yeah. Well, in happier news, Elizabeth, I want to say that I was sitting watching the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade on Thanksgiving, which is what we always do in our family. And I was so excited because when the Pillsbury Doughboy float came, I heard that it was playing the theme music from Happier in Hollywood. I mean, there was just, I, all of a sudden I picked up my head. I was like, wait, I know that music. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> yes. And I heard that from a couple of listeners. That is so exciting. Chuck, do you think we could play a clip? Sure. Here you go. And then, Elizabeth, I also wanted to say thank you for my lotion warmer. Oh, my goodness. We heard from so many people, first of all, telling me about this product that I did not know existed, that you can buy something that warms your lotion, and also from people telling me about in-shower body lotion, where you put it on in the shower before you dry off. Also something I had no idea, but I want to try that. But I did try the Conair lotion warmer, and it is so decadent. Oh, good. So does yes. it make putting on lotion more appealing in the morning? A hundred percent. It feels like a spa thing. And it was a perfect gift. You sent it to me without any warning. So it just arrived in the mail. It was like a big treat. And it is something that as an underbuyer, I absolutely positively would never have bought for <laughs> myself. It's way too specialized and way too unnecessary, but it is delightful. Oh, good. I'm glad. Yes. You deserve it. Yeah, well, thank you. Thank you. And thank you to all the listeners who wrote in to talk about that. And also, we got a huge outpouring of people about this question of how do you take notes while you're listening to a podcast? It turns out, I guess it's not surprising that many of our listeners also have this challenge. And overwhelmingly, people recommended taking a screenshot of the place and the time and then going back and when you're back at your desk or whatever and using that as a cue and so that's really helpful. And then Debbie also had a suggestion about audiobooks. Yeah, she said, I'm listening to you talk about listening to audiobooks. You said that one of the drawbacks for you is that you don't get to take notes. Not yeah. true. There is a clip slash bookmark feature in the Audible app. Well, I tried this. It's in the bottom right corner. It says clip. I never knew about this. Same. It, it's so great. And then we had another suggestion from Kate. Yes, she said, I almost always listen to podcasts, including yours and Happier in Hollywood, which are two of my favorites, via Bluetooth through my phone in the car. If I hear something I want to find out more about or something I'd like to do, I pause my podcast and ask Siri to add the item to my brain dump list. I usually get a good enough entry on my list to remind me what I wanted to look up when I get to my destination. For instance, when I listen to your podcast this week, I pause it at the point 
point where this was discussed and said, add email Gretchen to my brain dump list. It was there (laughs) when I next went to the list and it jogged my memory about what I wanted to do. It's also a useful hack for when I'm driving in the car and I remember something I need to do. I have my brain dump list as a widget on my home screen. So it's there in front of my eyes for me to see easily. Yeah. What a great idea. Yeah, I tried this. This works great. So thank you, everyone, for those hacks and those solutions. Yes. Yeah, and also we are asking for post-holiday hacks. So that's another thing to email us about if you have ideas yes. for post-holiday hacks. Yeah, we had our pre-holiday hacks, and now we'll have our post-holiday yeah. hacks. Yeah, <laughs> indeed. Okay, this week our Try This at Home tip is to review your 22 for 22 list. And we're a big fan of anything that is a catalyst for reflection and that helps us think about what we might want to do in the future to make our lives happier. And one of the things that we've been doing for the past several years now is this list. I don't even remember a list now when we started, but there's like 19 for 2019 and 20 for 20. And we had 22 for 22. And we first talk about these lists in episode 359. And then to celebrate halfway day on July 2nd in episode 384, we did a review. And now we're going to do the real review of the whole year and see how did we do? What did we learn? What are we going to carry forward? Because these lists are really helpful. And Gretchen, we've heard from so many listeners about their lists. We got this nice note from Isaac. He said, mainly because I put it on my 22 for 22 list, I went to the dentist for the first time in over 20 years. Yes. Isaac, excellent. Yes, well done. Now, in this, we will also mention our one word themes, but in an upcoming episode, we'll reveal our themes for 2023, which for thinking very hard about. So let us know what you chose for 22 or 23. We always like to highlight suggestions from listeners because I think a lot of times we crib them from each other. People yes. very much like borrow each other's ideas. Okay, so Alyssa, let's start with you. Let's. What was your one word theme for 2022? So my one word theme was step. Um, mm-hmm. It was all about stepping, hiking, stepping into the future, you know, it was one of my favorite catchphrases. I'll talk more about how it went yeah. in that episode, but I did somewhat incorporate it uh, into my list. Okay. So I'm going to take you through your list. Tell us how you're doing. Okay. Get a season three for Fantasy Island. Gretch, I'm very hopeful that that will happen. I'm. It's not in my control, but I, I feel very hopeful about it. Okay. Hold a premiere party for season two of Fantasy Island. Well, that's not until January 2nd, Monday, 8 p.m. So hopefully (laughs) I will have a gathering. Um, Depending on various factors, I would like to do some sort of gathering for that. Right. So that got pushed out out of 22. Again, out of my control. (laughs) Yes. Okay. But you're ready. Get the shingles vaccine. I did that. I got both shingles vaccines. Yay. Yay. Part of your summer of health. Well done. Take a family trip to San Francisco. We did not do that. I tried to get that going, but the timing just didn't work out. So that's still on my list because I really want to take Jack. And I actually, I should say, I really want to go to Alcatraz. I keep Mm. saying I want to take Jack, but I realized actually I really want to go to Alcatraz. There you go. There you go. Number five, celebrate Adam's milestone birthday in July. Did that. I arranged for us to go. We stayed at a place called the Surf and Sand in Laguna Beach. And we had a room where it was so close to the waves that they actually gave you earplugs so that you could sleep. (laughs) That's how loud the ocean was. And that was somewhere Adam and I have been wanting to go since we started dating. So I felt that was a good celebration of his birthday. Oh, excellent. Number six. Okay. Get your treadmill serviced. I did that. Yeah. Part of your summer of health, I believe. Yeah. Number seven, take a family trip to Disney World. Did not do that. Didn't even get close. Hmm. Okay, Elizabeth, here's a big one. It's a carryover. I know all the listeners are rooting for you on this. We we have many, many inquiries about this, which is, have you and Adam finished writing your will? Oh my God, Gretch, we haven't. We have got to do that. In fact, we need to get that. We did this whole thing and started it and got it in motion and talked to somebody and then we're stalled out. So we need to email him and say, what do we need to do to finish this? Right. Okay. So you got it underway and somehow like you got yes. stuck and so you now need to re-engage. Okay. Yes. Number nine, buy a new arm for your microphone. 
I did that. Yep. It's funny. You kind of go between big and small. I think that's yes. smart on your list. Number 10, get a colonoscopy. Did that and added an endoscopy as well, just for, you know, bonus points. Well, I want to say that if step had this air of like energy and the future and health, all the ones connected to your summer of health, you're really yeah. doing a great job on. With step. Step yep. goes with summer of health. Yeah. Number 11, go to the Electric Lake in Puerto Rico. Try that, Gretchen, but we signed up and then we're told, by the way, this is for people who are like really good at kayaking. <laughs> and given that Sarah and I and Violet had never kayaked, we decided we better not go. So first I need to get my kayaking experience okay. in. <laughs> Yeah. So it wasn't, it wasn't what you thought it was. It's no. not just like a tourist of, right. a, a destination. Okay. Number 12, organize a mom's trip to see a comedian at Morongo. Okay, I haven't done that, but I have regularly been checking mm. the website, which I think out now actually has another name, but I have been regularly checking the website okay. to see who's there. I mean, obviously, it's got to be the right person to get okay. everybody uh, motivated. So I'm, oh. I'm actively trying to uh, check that out. Okay. All right. Good. Uh, ooh, this one is one that is so step-like, and I'm so curious to hear. I'd like to do this myself when I'm visiting you sometime, which is to walk from Encino to Malibu. I haven't done it. My friend who I'm going to do it with biked it, mm -hmm. and she thinks it's very doable, but I just, I, I haven't felt strong enough, to be honest, like mm. that I would have the stamina. Mm. Okay. But that's the going to go on 23. Okay. Okay. Carry over. Number 14, buy new outdoor furniture. This is something under discussion. We are definitely talking about it and okay. thinking about it. Okay. So it's that's a, a process. Yeah. That's a process. Number 15 is one of the biggest ones on the list, which is to get another dog. And Gretchen, we did it when I, this is manifesting. When I put yeah. this on the list, you were, you couldn't believe one that I put no, it on the list. I could not. I was I did out not it. think we would do this. I really didn't, but I just kind of put it on as a whim. And sure enough, we got Daisy and we're so happy with having two yeah. dogs. I know. We are You're definitely two. two dog people. There you go. Number 16, visit the Capri Room at Buku de Beppo in Encino. Gretch, I haven't done that. I got to tell you, I was outside of Buku de Beppo the other day, and I was like, I've got to get in there to the Capri Room. No excuse for that one. Okay. Well, that'll be a carryover, and then you'll cross that off yeah. in January, maybe. Okay. Number 17, go to the Integratron sound bath. Still haven't done that, Gretchen, and I want to go so badly. But isn't it like a huge, like, months and months long waiting list? So it's not like you can just decide right. to go next weekend. It's right. Like well, it, de it depends. But yeah, there is a waiting list. And it's really out in the middle of nowhere. And there aren't a lot of even, like, hotels or nearby. So it's, oh, okay. it's a to-do. But um, okay. I know that I would absolutely love it. Number 18, host a mom's party in your backyard. Didn't do that, Gretch. Hosted a few little gatherings in my backyard, but uh, I need to have that mom's party. Mm -hmm. Okay. Read 22 novels. I imagine you've done that. I think I definitely did that. Yes. Yeah. You've been reading a lot. And you count listening to an audiobook as reading. We should just Absolutely. be clear because sometimes people wonder about that. Number 20, walk Nacho, and then also now Daisy, five times a week. Has it been five times a week, Gretch? Several times a week and can't say that it's been five times a week. So still working on that, but having them definitely gets us walking more at night, which is great. Oh, that's good. Coming close to the end, number 21, send Christmas cards this year. All right, Gretch, as you predicted, you were like, don't put this on your list because you're not going to do it. Well, but I don't sound so... Or you cautioned me I cautioned to, you. <laughs> to, to think about, do I want this on the list? Well, I think what I said is I thought you needed to start by working on yes. the addresses. So I didn't send Christmas cards, Gretch. And then number 22 on my list was arranged for professional family photos with Nacho and now Daisy. And I didn't do that either. And of course, that would be a step toward the Christmas card. So I've got to do that. You know, it's I, I have no excuse. I could have done it. I didn't. Oh, okay. This is reminding me how much I want those professional family photos. Well, I think the initial question is the addresses. Like, do you want to send an e-card or do you want to send physical ones? Because what a lot of listeners said is keep all your envelopes of ones that you receive 
to become the basis of your own address list if you want to mail oh, them out. But maybe okay. you don't want to mail them out. Maybe you no, want to just I do it No, I love that email. idea. I am going to do that. I have not yet received the first Christmas card of the year, first holiday right. card. I'm going to do that. Thank you, listeners. This is yep. my move toward Christmas cards next year. I'm going to save all of those envelopes. Right. And, and then you'll have a starter, have addresses. starter yes. address list. Yes. Love that. Okay. Well, you did well. You I got did a lot. A lot of big ones done. Yeah. It's interesting. A lot of the ones you didn't do were kind of like the fun little ones. Yeah. But ones that were like big and kind of life important, you did. Do. It's again, this is just a list. It's not a um, contract, you know, written yeah. in blood. Uh, <laughs> just ideas for what we would like for to do. Us. Yes. Gretchen, I'm taking my 22 for 22 list and I'm going to save it in my memento journal that you gave me. Oh, that's such a great idea. I'm going to do that yes. too, because it's such a, it's such a, it's perfect for the time capsule. Yes. Oh yeah. There's the memento journal. Yeah, no, I think that's a great idea because it really sums up a lot. Yep. Wonderful. Okay, Gretch, coming up, we're going to go through your list. But first, this break. From the changing leaves to pumpkin spice everything, life's feeling pretty cozy. If your old bra can't keep up, Get a new one that can. That's Tommy John. Mm -hmm. It's gift giving season, and one gift that is always appreciated is comfort. In Tommy John bras and bralettes, you're that much more comfortable, so you can do everything better. Every Tommy John bra and bralette has the perfect combination of comfort and support with cross convertible straps, wireless cups for comfort, and cool cotton for ultra breathability. And if you want the men in your life to feel comfy and look great too, pick them up a new pair of Tommy John men's underwear. I love wearing my Tommy John bralette. It fits really well. It's super comfortable, which is very important to me. You should try Tommy John too. Go to tommyjohn.com slash happier right now for 20% off your first order. 20% off at tommyjohn.com slash happier, tommyjohn.com slash happier. See site for details. All right, Gretchen, we are back and we're going to go through your 22 for 22 list. Your one word theme for the year was salt. Yes, I was inspired by you to have a more kind of metaphorically interesting word. So I can't wait to talk about salt when we talk about one word themes. But it was a great theme from the year. I was really happy with it. Oh, good. Okay, Gretchen, number one, sign up for more sensory adventures by yourself and with family and friends. Oh, I've done so many sensory adventures. This is so much fun. And now I want to go to the Integratron with you too, yes. Elizabeth. But yes, I did the sound bath was one thing that you had suggested to me for years, but I did lots of sensory adventures. That was so much fun. Two is clean up your office. So I realized with my office that it really was pretty clean and orderly. It was just messy looking because I have open shelves. And so if there's sub stuff there. So what I did was I did put some things in boxes or pouches or whatever. So it, it looks more orderly because there really wasn't that much stuff that I could get rid of because it mm -hmm. was really, it was stuff that I actually need and use and it was in the right place. It just, it's just, if you have open shelves, yeah. you just have stuff on your shelves and if it's not all like in neat boxes to begin with, it just looks kind of messy. But I did I did make several sweeps through my office trying to deal with that. Good. And I made some improvements. Okay. In the same vein, um, encourage Eleanor to clear out her room because she is an abundance lover. Oh, there's no way. She <laughs> to her it doesn't she doesn't consider it cluttered. <laughs> she considers it beautiful and beautifully arranged. Curated. And like, she's got stuff draped over her mirrors, stuff draped over her windows. I mean, it's all over the place. But that's just how she likes it. And I I just have to admit to myself, like, it's her room as like, if I say she can have it the way she wants it, that's the way she wants it. She doesn't have dirty clothes on the floor, right. or, like, dirty cups. And it's all the, she likes it that way. That's, she's an abundance lover <laughs> for sure. Okay. For catch up on your physical photo albums. Okay. So this is a great example of how so having something on your list can like catch you. So I was just thinking about the list because I knew we were going to be talking about it. I was like, okay, I'm going to hurry up and finish. I had a printed album that I had in handwritten captions in. So I hurried up and did that. Then I went through and uploaded my photographs into Shutterfly, which is the program that I use to make physical books. So I've done that, which is kind of an ordeal. 
So that's done. So I'm not caught up, but I rushed to get a couple steps closer to being done. So I'm hopeful that I can do this by the end of 2022. I have not done it now, but I've done a lot of the preliminary steps. And so now I just have to like sit down and actually make the albums. Oh, good. That's a big project. It's the biggest project, but I want to stay up with it because somehow it just feels so much more out of control if it's more than one calendar year. So Mm -hmm. if I can do it now, it's all of 22, which is a lot. But it's just one year. So this is good. It's gotten me focused on that priority. Great. Okay, buy a big backpack for traveling. Absolutely. I I was so excited to do that. I went out, got it right away, and I use it all the time. And it's a huge boon. Okay, create more products. I've been pushing this forever. Elizabeth, you have been saying this forever. And now we've got practice. We've got the Know Yourself Better journals. We got the tackle box with all the different sticky pads. We got water bottles. We got stickers. We got tendency bugs. We've got onward and upward t-shirts. The days are long, but the years are short pouch. There's so much stuff there. It's so good. I love it all. I'm so proud of it. I worked with the greatest people to create it. Go check it out. And I'm so happy because this has been something that I have wanted to do for such a long Because yes. I love thinking through like, what are the tools that are going to help people stick to their habits? That's the Happier app too, which is not, a, it's a different kind of product. The Happier app also. So for me, it's really fun to think about how do you turn ideas into actual products that will help people use them. And so that has been enormously satisfying. So go look at all that stuff. Yes. I love it all. So, and Elizabeth, gold star for you. You've been you've been on this for years. I have. And I've been using my habit tracker journal and the app every day. So Excellent. I am a uh, customer as yeah. well as Good. someone pushing you to do it. Okay, Good. number seven, invite your high school friends to your apartment. Yeah, every year, every other year, I get together with some of my high school friends, and I had them all over, and we had a lovely time, and then we went to go see a Broadway show together when, they, when we were having our reunion, so it was so much fun. Nice. Take it. Ooh, I love this. Eight. Take a trip with Eleanor. Yeah. So with Eliza, between junior and senior year, we went on like a big mother daughter trip. So I wanted to do the same thing with Eleanor. So she wanted to go to Paris. So we went to Paris and we had the most amazing trip. It was fantastic. If I had to say one thing, don't miss go to the Paris flea markets that are famous and deservedly so amazing. Eleanor and I were both sort of blown away by that. But Paris is like the most beautiful city. We walked like a thousand miles. It was really a milestone trip. Yeah. And it's funny because I bet without her interest, you wouldn't have gone to the flea market. It wouldn't have occurred to you. So she um, opened that up for you. Yeah. She's one of these teens that's like deep, deep into thrifting. And so, of course, I was like, well, we have to go to the flea markets. And I would go back. I would almost make a trip only to spend the whole time at the flea markets and really go deep because it felt so limitless and and just like nothing I'd ever seen before. So, yeah, it was very cool. Okay, number nine, delegate 22 things. I have to say I just dropped the ball in this. I think I've delegated things. I didn't do it systematically. I don't know. I should delegate more. I had a whole year where my theme was delegate because it's such an important thing. It tends to be hard for upholders especially. I don't know if other upholders out there have had this problem. It's something I think I'm going to... I, I want to put it on my list for next year in some mm. way. I think this was too ambitious, but I should think about it more because okay. it is really, it's a useful thing to think about, but I just sort of disregarded it, which was a mistake, but so be it. 10, have a summer of rereading. I really wanted to have a summer of rereading because I love rereading so much, but I just felt like I had so much new stuff that I wanted to read um, that I think maybe next summer I'm going to have a summer of rereading because I, I, I have a specific stack of books So I know exactly what I want to reread, like varieties of religious experience I'm dying to reread. I'm due for another rereading of Story of a Soul, really want to reread Boswell's Life of Johnson. Like of all these things, I'm super excited to reread, but I just felt like I had too much new stuff to read. But so maybe next summer. Okay. 11, figure out if it's possible to have better soundproofing in your office. Chuck and I have talked about this. He feels like he can make it work. I don't know. Like, should I come up with some big, bigger, better audio visual plan? I don't know. I'm thinking about it. Okay. It's just this environment keeps changing mm. what we need from our work from home space. It is so. so true. Yeah. 12, hang pictures. Okay. I have an appointment with somebody who's going to come hang the pictures next week because I saw this and I was like, I've been kicking this down like from year to year for like four years. So finally Mm. I'm like, I'm not going to do it. It's too hard for me. Yay. Oh, uh, you'll have to post a photo of your I will give myself a gold star if it gets done. Okay, good. 
13, this one is interesting. Wear makeup every day. I be, you, Alyssa, then you said, you're not going to do that. And I was Did like, I? maybe I will. And I was like, no, I didn't. No, I did not. What's funny is I see you on YouTube and you are usually wearing makeup. So to me, I feel like you are wearing makeup every day. Yes. But if you saw me every day, you would know that I don't. <laughs> but maybe I'll try again because, again, like there's so much stuff with video and photographs and everything. It's like maybe it's just better to be prepared. It's not really putting it on that I mind. It's taking it off. Yes. Like at night when you can just wash your face and you have no makeup on, it's just like so much yeah. faster and easier. And I have this thing and that thing. To try to make it easier. And I, I don't know why. I just, it's one of those things where I just disproportionately don't like to do that chore. You know how everybody has yes. like certain things that people really don't like to load the dishwasher or they really don't like to unload the dishwasher. They really don't like to make their bed. And for some reason, I really don't like to wash my face when I have makeup on. But there it is. Okay. 14, take a daily nap, schedule permitting. 100%. That was something that was part of my hashtag Russ22 and 22, which we will discuss later in this episode. I love taking a nap. And now if I can take a nap, if it works with my schedule, I absolutely will. I love taking a nap. 15, do a daily reading review. This was a carryover. Did not do that. This is me trying to go through books and see what books I want to read. It might be easier now that I'm not doing original writing for my Life in mm. Five Senses book. This is the kind of thing that when I'm not doing original writing and I'm in a different phase of a book. Uh -huh. So I might carry this over and see if I can do it because it would be really, really useful. And I don't know why. I think it's because if I start getting into a book and I like it, then I want to keep reading it. Uh. And so then I start, I'm in the middle of too many books and that's a confusing feeling. It, this only works if it's a book that I decide I don't want to read. Oh, that's funny. So it's maybe I need to rethink what what it is I'm doing with this time. Okay, have a sense party. This was a carryover. Sense as in S-C-E-N-T-S. -E yes, I really want to do this. I have not done this, but I have so many perfume samples and scent samples mm -hmm. and all kinds of things. Um, I really want to do this, but I have not done it yet. Take a watercolor class, number 17. Oh, so many listeners sent me so many great links and resources, and I compiled them all into this big list mm. and then was just like, you know what? I don't have time to do watercolor. So... Maybe in a couple of years, I'll return to that. But I yes. kind of put that on the back. When corner. Eleanor goes to college, that's you can take a watercolor class. Maybe, maybe. 18, be more systematic about connecting with friends and colleagues. This was also a carryover. I've been slightly better with that. I do have kind of a system now. I, I think I am better. I think I will okay. give myself credit for give that. I think I am better. Mark. I will. I think there's more room to go, but I think I've definitely made progress. Uh, number 19, review your giant happiness catch-all document. I have not done this again. And I think it maybe is because I'm still in the deep part of working on Life in Five Senses, which is so intellectually over overwhelming. And then the happiness document is like it goes in so many directions. It's like almost too interesting and too rich because it's literally everything that I have found to be interesting and rich in everything that I've read for like years. And so it's almost too interesting. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm, yeah. And so I can't get into it because it sort of makes me a bit bonkers. But maybe when I'm in a more kind of in an in between state yeah. with my with life and with my with my book about the five senses, maybe I can do it because I, I I think I would get a lot out of it. I bet there's a lot of of really rich material in there that I could use. Number twenty, keep going to the Met every day. I know you've uh -huh. done that. Oh yeah, I may go to the Met every day for the rest of my life. I think you likely will. <laughs> Number 21, ask for permission to badger. Mom with her decorations, me with night snacking, Eleanor with her driver's license. Big surprise, people don't like to be badgered. <laughs> I gave this up because happiness bully that I am, I need to back it up sometimes, and I did. Okay, 22, add one item. Did you add another item? I added Breaking Bad because, oh. you know, I had such good success with watching Mad Men finally, and so Jamie and I are watching Breaking Bad, which has been on my list forever, it took me a couple seasons because it was just so stressful. I couldn't take it. And then I'm like, now all I want to do is watch Breaking Bad. So we're in season four. So we're getting pretty close, but I am loving it. So that was a really fun thing to add. All right. Well, you did well, Gretchen. Well, and so did you. And you know? we want to hear from listeners. How did you do? If you're so inclined, post your list to hashtag 22 for 22. It's so fun to see other people's lists. Yes. Um, did it? Did making a list help you get things done? What did you have most success with? We would love to hear people's experience. 
Um, I love this, Elizabeth, and now we've got to start making our 23 for 23 list. Yes, indeed we do. To let us know your experience with your list on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, drop us an email at podcast at GretchenRubin.com, or as always, you can go to the show notes. This is happiercast.com slash 407. Okay, coming up, we have a tech hack, but first, this break. Okay, Elizabeth, a happiness hack that came out of our Instagram live conversation. Yes. Yeah, and so we were talking about the fact that just as you have a toiletry kit when you travel, and for a lot of us, like in our toiletry kit is things that we don't pack and unpack, you always have a little tube of toothpaste and you don't take them in and out. We realized that you and I both really need to have a tech kit, like a pouch where we have our tech necessities that we always pack. Yes, with a charger, a mini tripod, a clip light, which I wanted in Kansas City and forgot. And Gretchen, you have to point out, people could use your, uh, the days are long, but the years are short pouch for this. Yeah, because it's a pouch and it's a little bit on the larger side as these pouches go. So you can fit, my tripod fits in it. And a mini tripod doesn't always fit. So yeah, I'll post a link to that if people are curious. But I love this idea of just having it ready and you never and we, you don't take stuff in and out of it. You just pack the bag so you know that you have yes. all those necessities. That's yeah. the key. Okay, and Alyssa, now for the know yourself better question. This is this is kind of an episode of reflection, and we're coming up to the end of 22. So let's talk about what we learned from the rest 22 and 22 challenge. Soon we're going to unveil our 23 and 23 challenge. Very excited about that. But how did rest go for you and me? What do you think about rest? Well, for me, Gretch, what I found is that it was hard to make it a priority. Mm -hmm. I think maybe because it felt like an inaction rather than an action. So I had an easier time when we did read and walk because I, it was, I don't know, just clearer to me. Mm -hmm. And one thing I realized is I think, more parameters are better for me. So, Mm -hmm. because then I'm like, well, I'm resting. I'm watching the housewives. Well, is that resting or is it not resting? Like you napped Yes. And that's clear. You're yes. napping. And yes. I think I would have done better with a more specific idea in mind of exactly what constituted rest. Well, you know, and just from what we heard from listeners, I do wonder if sometimes people like something that's more specific and maybe more active. I think that's something that our choice for 23 is going to address. And it also seems from talking to you and thinking about myself and listeners, it seems like there are different things work for different people. Like for some people, having it at a very specific time right. slot works, whereas some people don't like that. Some people literally put it in the calendar. Some people don't like that. Accountability, like is there accountability? Maybe with rest, there was no system of accountability where mm-hmm. with read, you're always talking about what you're reading. And so there's sort of that accountability I found that for me as an upholder, like I tend to be kind of all or nothing with my calendar, but I found with napping, I really was able to say, I'm going to do this most days. I'm going to do this when it works. And when it doesn't work, that's okay. And that kind of flexibility and ambiguity sometimes doesn't work for me. So I was excited that with something like this, I could keep it a little bit looser and still feel like I was upholding the spirit of it. Good. Well, I love that you've embraced napping. I know our dad will support that. Yes. The champion napper. But we've heard from so many listeners that really found new ways to rest and got kind of got the permission to rest and that we're very excited about. Mm-hmm. Like, this is a thing that we're doing for you, Elizabeth, that felt maybe not active enough, but I think for a lot of people, it felt really good yes. to have this permission be the thing. to rest. I think a lot of people enjoyed having that. Right. And that this is really a value and this is something really worth shining a spotlight on. So that was really great. We're so happy that people got a lot out of it and we're very excited for 23 and 23. But Elizabeth, demerits and gold stars. Yes, you are up this week, Gretchen, with the happiness demerit. Well, this is related to what I was saying about my 22 for 22 list. I got way behind in deleting bad photos. Like I try to keep up with like, as I'm taking photos throughout the days, just go through and take out the bad ones and just keep the good ones so that my photos are cleaned up. And I fell way behind on that. And it's just a good reminder that if you do it every day, it's easier to keep up than catch up. Ah, uh, yes. And Elizabeth, how about you? What is the goal? 
gold star. All right, Gretch, I want to give a gold star to mom mm. because she always makes my favorite sausage soup when I go home. Uh, and I was home yeah. for Thanksgiving and we had the sausage soup the night I got there. And it's just nice having a mom who's uh, taking care of you, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Never gets old. Yeah. And that soup is delicious. It's my favorite. So thanks, Mom, for my (laughs) sausage soup. Yes, gold star to our mother. And the resource for this week, as we've been talking about, the end of the year is a great time to reflect. And now I have these three journals that will help you reflect. There's the original Know Yourself Better journal, which is this one. It is the best-selling journal. People love this journal. And we have two new ones, Embracing Change and Building Connections. I'm mm, showing these on YouTube. They're if you're, beautiful. If you're, yeah. I, I, isn't that one gorgeous? I love yes. that. Yes. One is Embracing Change. One is Building Connections because these are things that people all the time are, you know, you try to know yourself better so you can get through these big challenging times. And each journal has 60 prompts, which helps you build self-knowledge that you can use going into the new year. And for a limited time, that is through December 13th, 2022 at 11.50 p.m. Mm -hmm. Pacific time, there is a special discount if you buy one or a combination of them. If you use the promo code KYB50, that's for Know Yourself Better, 50% off, you get 50% off. And you can go to happiercast.com slash journals for that. And again, it's KYB50 to get 50% off. Right. And Elizabeth, what are we reading? I am still reading The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. And I am reading The Memory of Old Jack by Wendell Berry. And that is it for this episode of Happier. Remember to try this at home. Review your 22 for 22 list. Let us know if you tried it and how the list worked for you. Thanks to our executive producer, Chuck Reed, and everyone at Cadence 13. Get in touch. Gretchen's on Twitter at Gretchen Rubin. And I'm on Instagram at Liz Craft. Our email address is podcast at GretchenRubin.com. And if you like the show, please be sure to tell a friend and rate, review, and follow us wherever you listen to your podcasts. Until next week, I'm Elizabeth Kraft. And I'm Gretchen Rubin. Thanks for joining us Onward and Up. Elizabeth, we've taken so many COVID tests and always gotten negative. I kind of forgot that like... I know. One day it could be positive. I know. And I have to tell you, it came up immediately. Oh. I did yeah. not have to wait 10 minutes. It was... Okay. Uh, it was... Uh, it was very clear that I had You're like, COVID. oh, these things do work. Yes, exactly. <laughs> you always wonder. Yep, they do. Oh, we'll feel better soon. Thank you. From the Onward Project.